everyone, and welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Mike, and I'm Sam. And today we are looking at oh, what everyone wants to talk about during the summer: school. Yeah. Why are we talking about school? Because it's going to start soon. Yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> and you're right. As people do begin a new school year, if you're older, it might be time for you to pick some classes,、mm. right? Because often in high school and Definitely in college or university, you don't have to take all the classes if you don't want. So you might have to start thinking about your favorite class, the type of thing you like learning about, as opposed to oh no, French class. <laughs> I'm so unhappy now. No, these are the ones you love. So Sam, what was your favorite class in high school? In、That's、high、right. school, yeah, my or favorite, junior high, you know, before college.、Uh, okay, well, high school, my favorite class was chemistry, actually, because wait, wait, your favorite class? Like, I like it. Number one, yes, it was chemistry. Yeah, it was、uh? super fun, and also probably the best teacher in our high school,、okay. or one of the best teachers in our high school. Was teaching chemistry, and、awesome. she was awesome. She made learning really fun. Um, and What was her name? Let's her, give her a shout out. Her name was Mrs. Gray. Hi, Mrs. Gray. <laughs> I think she has retired now, but she was a great. I'm sure, great she、teacher. watches this. Oh, probably. There you go,、it's、and that's a good. That's a good、show. point. You can have a great teacher, and that teacher can make a class you hated before into a class you actually kind of fall in love with.、Yeah. So there you go. Your favorite class today might not be your favorite class next year, or maybe you'll discover a new love. For a new subject, and that will become your favorite class. Let's find out about Kate and Roy, what their favorite classes are, and we'll be back to chat about it. Kate and Roy are talking about their classes. Of all my classes this year, I find chemistry the most interesting. Are you kidding me? It's my hardest and least favorite class. What's so difficult about it? Everything happens at a level that is beyond our sight. All right, so let's check out favorite class. Kate and Roy. It says two students are talking about their classes. So I guess they already have their schedule for the new school year. They're kind of looking at it: what classes, what day? Do I have to get up early on a Friday? I don't. Yay! That kind of thing.、Mm-hmm. All right. So Kate kicks it off. Yes, and so Kate says, "Of all my classes this year, I find chemistry the most interesting." Is her name Kate or Sam? No, I promise I didn't say that just because、it's、of like the your、story. sister. <laughs> yes,、wow. and so. She also really enjoys chemistry,、mm. and chemistry is a noun. And this chemistry class,、uh, or the chemistry as a science,、mm. it is the study of the very small, small pieces of the earth and of the world that kind of make up everything.、Mm-hmm. So you've got. Um, when you look at like atoms and protons and neutrons and、mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff, that's、mm-hmm. all in chemistry. You also might know the periodic table.、Ooh. That's that kind of pretty little chart that、mm-hmm. has all the numbers and the symbols,、um, and has things like hydrogen、mm-hmm. and oxygen、mm-hmm. and、uh, all those kinds of. Things are on the periodic table, and that's what chemists, the people who study chemistry, they refer to that. They look at that a lot because they need it to understand what's going on in the world. Yeah, basically everything is made up of these elements, these chemicals. So chemistry is looking at what makes up everything in the universe, basically, yes. Yes. from people to. Orange juice to stars. It、yep. all comes down to chemistry at a very small scale. And back to Roy. Roy is me hearing someone say chemistry is my favorite class. Roy goes, huh? Or he says, Are you kidding me? In other words, are you joking? You're joking, right? If someone says something that you think you can't possibly mean that, you can't possibly be serious. You must be joking, right? In other words, you can just say, "Are you kidding me? I'm checking to make sure that what you just said 
you're serious. And he kind of says,、uh, "It's my hardest and least favorite class." Hi, Roy. Nice to meet you. I'm exactly the same way as you. Yeah, it's hard. It's difficult. I can't even understand. Why does it have a number? It's oxygen. How? I don't understand. But Mrs. Gray. Wasn't my teacher. Yeah. Maybe that's why. But anyways, he doesn't like it, and he finds it very difficult. He he would be happy to pass the test. Never mind to get a hundred. Just to get sixty-one <laughs> would be good for him. Yes. And so then Kate says, "What's so difficult about it?" So this、huh? kind of question. She's not trying to be rude or anything, but usually, if you understand something、mm-hmm. really well,、mm-hmm. then you might be confused、mm-hmm. how other people don't understand it.、Yeah. So that's kind of how she's acting here. Like, what do you find difficult about this? I think it's pretty easy. You think it's hard.、Yeah. So she's asking, "What's hard about it?" Yeah, sort of ex- explain to me why you find it so difficult and confusing. And well, Roy has a a good reason. He kind of says everything happens at a level that is beyond our sight. Yeah, when we get into atoms and protons and electrons, these are tiny, tiny, tiny things that you really can't see. So trying to understand how these tiny things make up atoms, and the atoms make up chemicals, and the chemicals make up the grass, and the grass—I don't understand. I can't see it. It is beyond my sight. It might be like trying to understand how. The sun works,、mm. or some things that are so really big or so very very small, they're beyond what we can experience, right? You can touch and smell and taste and look at things, but if it's something that's so big or so small, it is past or beyond. It goes outside of what you feel comfortable with, what you can understand easily. If you go beyond a certain limit or a certain line, you go past it, and of course that can. Cause problems, or be confusing, or get you in trouble, or something. But beyond is basically here is the normal thing. We're going past that. Yes, and beyond can also be physical too. You、sure. could go like beyond that line, or、mm. beyond that mountain. There is a lake, so、oh, yeah. behind it or past it. So you can also use it. For physical distance、right. as well, like in baseball, if you hit the ball beyond the line or the fence,、mm-hmm. that's a home run. Yes, and、Pass. so then we had beyond sight. So sight、mm. is a noun. So sight is just what you are able to see. You're able to see. Then the noun version is your sight. So、uh, I can't see that lake because it is it is behind the mountain. So it is not in sight. I can't see that thing. Um, and so, in this case, chemistry is all beyond your sight because we're dealing with atoms, which are very, very small. Very, very, very small, and it can be confusing unless Mrs. Gray is your teacher, and I wish she、yes. was. <sighs> all right, we're going to take a break. We're going to call Mrs. Gray, see、mm. if I can arrange a private chemistry class with her, and then we'll be back after the break. How much does she charge? Oh, I don't know.、Mm. Yeah, but you can see the reactions in the experiments. So, which class do you like the most? My favorite class is physics. I have the best and funnest time learning about the physical world. Not me, but that's fine. Yeah, we don't always have to like the same things. All right, we are back, and Kate and Roy are still talking about their favorite classes. We could also say their favorite subjects、mm-hmm. at school.、Uh, Roy was just saying that he doesn't like chemistry. Kate does, but Roy he finds it confusing and hard because it's talking about tiny little things like atoms and elements, things that he can't see, he can't touch. So when they're learning about how these things work. He's like, yeah, but it's I, I don't understand. It's so small, I can't get it. Yes, and so then if we listen to Kate, she、mm-hmm. is going to respond to this and、right. try to make a little bit of sense of that. And、mm-hmm. so she says, yeah, but you can see the reactions in the experiments. 
And so,、okay. yeah, you might not be able to see all of these little atoms and things like that.、Mm-hmm. But by seeing what they do and how they react together, you can kind of learn about them still. So she thinks it's still not that bad. It's not that confusing. But then she goes on to ask, so. Which class do you like the most? All right, yeah. What is his favorite class or subject? And well, his is not too different, in fact,、mm-hmm. from Kate's. He says my favorite class is physics. All right, so this is another science. Often in high school, you will study one or all three of these sciences: chemistry, physics, and biology. Now, biology is about living things, plants, animals. If you want to be a doctor, for example, you would study study biology. But physics might be more for people who want to study engineering or something like that. Physics is about how things in the world move, bodies in motion. We think of、um, we think of Newton with the apple falling on his head and discovering gravity. We think about how things move through the world. Things have weight. They have mass. They have Density. If you're designing cars, boats, rocket ships, you'll need to know a lot about physics. But also, if you're playing sports, if you're a baseball player and you're throwing a ball through the air, physics would come into that. Flying an airplane requires a lot of physics to go right because, of course, there's weight, there's speed, there's gravity, there's mass. Things like that are the types of things you will learn in physics. He says, "I have the best and funnest time learning about the physical world. The best and funnest, or most fun. He really enjoys learning about the world through physics." Yes, and so then Kate responds back to this,、mm. "Not me," meaning、mm, I don't like physics. Okay, so not me, but that's fine. Interesting. So they again, they're discussing these favorite classes.、Mm-hmm. He likes physics. She says, "Not me. That's not one of my favorites, but that's fine." Meaning. It's okay that we like different things. Sure, they can still be friends. They can still fall in love and get married and have kids, even if they don't have the same favorite classes at school. As Roy says, yeah, we don't always have to like the same things. There you go with your friends, with your partner, with your lover, whoever it happens to be. You can have different opinions and different tastes. As long as it doesn't lead to fighting all、yes. the time, and、yes. hopefully they're not. Physics is better. Shut up. Chemistry. I hate you.、Mm-hmm. No, it doesn't、yeah. get that serious because it's just what they like at school. And in fact, it's interesting because、mm-hmm. this way they can learn a little bit more about something they don't know a lot about. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. But we'll have another good dialogue for you tomorrow. Come back and join us for that. And we promise, no physics, chemistry, or biology. In tomorrow's dialogue, right? Right. Right. Yes. Yes, definitely. Cartoons. Ooh. Kate and Roy are talking about their classes. Of all my classes this year, I find chemistry the most interesting. Are you kidding me? It's my hardest and least favorite class. What's so difficult about it? Everything happens at a level that is beyond our sight. Yeah, but you can see the reactions in the experiments. So, which class do you like the most? My favorite class is physics. I have the best and funnest time learning about the physical world. Not me, but that's fine. Yeah, we don't always have to like the same things. Hi, I'm Tina. We're going to look at this lesson's key words. The first one is chemistry. Chemistry, chemistry. Chemistry is my favorite subject in school. 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 The house is beyond my budget. 那房子超出了我的预算。Budget 就是预算。下一个单词 sight sight 名词视力。After the accident, she lost her sight in one eye. 事故后，她失去了一只眼睛的视力。最后一个单词 physics. 
physics 名词，物理学。Physical 是形容词，表示物理学的。The laws of physics explain how the universe works. 物理定律解释了宇宙运作的原理。Law 就是定律。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，of all 加名词，在所有的什么之中？我们来看看这个例句。Of all the places I've traveled to, Paris is my favorite city. 在我旅游过的所有地方当中，巴黎是我最喜爱的城市。下一个文法 ，A finds B 加形容词。A 觉得发现 B 处于某一种状态。我们来看看这个例句。She finds her new apartment cozy and comfortable. 她觉得她的新公寓舒适又温馨。Cozy 就是温馨舒适的。最后一个文法 ，which 加名词加 does somebody like the most？ 某人最喜欢的是哪一个？动词加上 the most 指的是最怎么样 ？The most 作为副词使用，相对说法就是 the least。我们来看看这个例句 ：Which subject does Eric like the least？ Eric 最不喜欢哪个科目呢？以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法，我们下一课再见，拜拜。Today we're going to take you to Suzhou Land Ancestral Temple. Now the structure of the temple is full of wood carving and painting, so it's definitely beautiful to look at. At first, it was a private house, and now it's open to public. Until today, Suzhou Land Clan Association still hold worship events and clan reunions. So let's learn more about Suzhou Land Ancestral Temple. Suzhou Land Ancestral Temple is located on Chuiyang Road in Jiayi City. The building was built in the traditional Southern Fujian style. Its structure is well kept and full of wood carvings and paintings. There is one floor with five sections. This temple enshrines 31 prestigious ancestors whose last names were Su. It is an important and meaningful place for the Su, Zhou, and Lian clans. Suzhou Lian Ancestral Temple was first a private house built during the Qing Dynasty. However, the Su clansmen thought it would be hard to go to mainland China for worship after Taiwan was ruled by Japan. In 1986, they bought the house from the cultivated talent Su Shengchang in Jiayi and changed it into Su Ancestral Temple. In 1939. The Su Clan Association was founded in 1958. Mr. Su Mo Qin and Su Mo Shan thought that the Su, Zhou, and Lian families had a common ancestry. That was because during the Yuan Dynasty, to prevent themselves from being killed, some of the Su clansmen changed their family name to Zhou or Lian. They founded the clan association for Su, Zhou, and Lian. Su Ancestral Temple was changed into Su Zhou Lian Ancestral Temple. In 2000, Su Zhou Lian Ancestral Temple was listed as a municipal historic site. It is now open to the public. Until now, the Su Zhou Lian Clan Association still hold worship events and clan reunions here. With Su Zhou Lian Ancestral Temple, the relationship of these three clans can be kept well, and their culture can be passed on to future generations. I hope you guys really enjoy learning about Suzhou Lian Ancestral Temple. It certainly sounds like a beautiful place to visit if you're ever in Jiayi. Well, this is all the time we have for today, and thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.